Welcome to Inspired Living with Carrie Murphy, the podcast, where as your host each and every week, I am going to inspire you and empower you to share your message and step into that big vision you see for yourself. I'll be bringing you celebrity interviews, influencer insights, and my personal tips from decades as an on-camera talent, TV host, media expert, and entrepreneur, so you can build a brilliant seven-figure brand. Because when you're inspired, you inspire others. So let's go. Hey, it is Carrie Murphy, and welcome back to Inspired Living TV, where we inspire lives and empower entrepreneurs. And if there is one question I get asked all the time, it is Carrie, should I have a Facebook business page and a personal page? So let's start with the basics here a personal page. A personal page is hopefully a place where you post family photos, vacations, you're connecting with old family members and friends. It is just that. It is personal. But because you get more engagement on that page than maybe a business page, you post business there too. Now, there are some times it's good to mix business with pleasure, but Facebook pages is not one of them. So the answer to your question is yes, 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 yes. You should have a Facebook business page. Now you can post on your business page and share it on your personal pages, but I'm a big fan of keeping them separate. Now, does that mean that you can't post a family photo or a trip of your luxurious vacation that you're going to have someday on your business page? Absolutely, you can absolutely post that. In fact, people love those little glimpses of your personal life and it's something we teach. However, if it's all personal, then I don't take you seriously as a business owner. So you wanna have a business page both on Facebook and Instagram and on LinkedIn because it just quickly elevates your positioning and shows you as a legit business owner. So number one reason is just how you're going to show up, positioning. You wanna show up as an authority, as a legit business, and so you need to have a business page. Now I know Facebook wants you to pay to play, and that's not a bad thing. In fact, when do you really get free advertising, right? We have these amazing platforms at our fingertips, but you have to use them. And the more you use your Facebook and Instagram business pages, the more Facebook pushes it out. In fact, the more you go live on your Facebook group, the more you do ads on your Facebook group, the more you post videos and content, Facebook and Instagram, they're owned by the same company, are going to reward you by pushing them out. So it is a long-term game, not a short-term sprint. Okay, you have to be committed to building these pages. How do you do that? You do that by providing relevant content to your ideal client. So I want you to think about what do you post? Post tips, projections, insights, advice, inspiration, a little bit of behind the scenes. And I want you to go back to that kind of 80-20 rule. 80% of the time you are posting great content. You are giving so much value. And then 20% of the time you're asking people to work with you. You can't do that on a personal page. All right, so again, positioning is key on all your social pages. So go right now and get your business handle on every social media platform you can. TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Pinterest, LinkedIn, go get it, right? Because you're going to wanna build that real estate for your business. Now, another huge advantage to having a business page is the insights that you can gather through the tools that Facebook, Instagram, and the other platforms give you. It is incredible to actually be able to target your ideal client down to where they live, the zip code, what they do, do they like yoga, do they follow someone else, and you can't do that on your personal page. I am a huge fan of Facebook and Instagram ads if you know how to run them. You need to be growing your business and you need to be marketing and advertising. Again, the insights alone that Facebook and Instagram give you is incredible, but you have to have a business page. You can't get it on your personal page. So insights, right? You really want to know where your ideal client is, where they're going, and you need to market to them. And you can do that through your business pages. And lastly, when it comes to your business, 
right? I want you to think of these platforms as your media channels, as a way for you to connect and convert your ideal client online. So again, you can post on your business page and share it on your personal pages, but if you really want to be seen as that speaker, podcast guest, podcast host, you have to show up as if, and you do that through your business pages, being consistent, right? Building up that emotional connection, showing up as a credible authority and then converting people to your list and to raving fans and buyers. So again, my answer to your question is yes. So if you haven't already, go get your business pages all set up today. And if you have questions, post them below and my team and I would be happy to answer them for you. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you feel so inclined, take a minute and share this with someone because when you're inspired, you inspire others and we need more people with business pages. <laughs> All right, thanks so much. And as always, remember to keep dreaming it, living it, and being it. Until next time. You've just heard another uplifting episode of Inspired Living with Carrie Murphy, the podcast. I hope you loved it. If you haven't yet, please subscribe, rate, and review this podcast. And if you'd like to know more about Inspired Living or to get your hands on many of our awesome free resources, such as the Be Studio Ready Guide, simply visit us at inspiredliving.tv forward slash podcast. Remember, your vision is your destiny, and we're here to help you bring it to life. Join me again next week for another extraordinary episode.